And just hours ago, United Airlines flight attendants announcing their vote to move forward with plans to strike. The announcement coincided with a demonstration at 20 different airports across the country today, including Tampa International Airport. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser brings you what it means for the flight attendants, the airport, and passengers. Well, United Airlines flight attendants say it's all about fairness. The airline, they say, has not negotiated to where they need to be leading them to authorize a strike for the first time in nearly two decades. The decision comes on the heels of stalled negotiations. For the past three years, United flight attendants have been working without a new contract. They want better pay, back pay, better retirement and job security, and compensation for the time they spend on the ground between flights. 99.9% .9 of those who voted said yes to a strike. It shows that we are together and ready to do whatever it takes to get a contract that we deserve. Flight attendants are considered essential workers, so they can't simply walk off the job. A strike would still have to be authorized by federal authorities if they see no hope for progress through further mediation. And we don't want to walk out. We love our jobs. We love our passengers. We never want to do anything like that, but it gives it puts the pressure on the company for them to understand that we're serious and if we have to walk out on a job we love, we will. Still, any threatened work stoppage is a concern for passengers at Tampa International, which has already been plagued by recent delays and cancellations linked to weather and technical issues. Well, I travel a lot and I fly United exclusively, so I am concerned that, you know, there will be delays on my flights. Certainly, they're entitled to a fair wage and uh, if they're trying to negotiate in good faith on both sides, then we hope that they can work it out. If the National Mediation Board authorizes a work stoppage, it would trigger a 30-day countdown to a strike. When that recently happened with unions at American Southwest and Alaska Airlines, the threat of a looming shutdown helped push negotiations to a tentative agreement. At Tampa International, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. Now, in a statement, United Airlines says it continues to work toward an industry-leading agreement for its flight attendants, and they remain eager to reach an agreement. While the airline says there is no current work stoppage of labor disruption, flight attendants say they are preparing to take action that would impact some flights, but not all.